Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a chain link pattern in Photoshop. First off, we are going to create a new document. Go ahead and click on Create New. We're going to use the dimensions of 600 pixels by 600 pixels, resolution 300 pixels per inch, color mode is RGB color, and then we're going to set our background contents to transparent. And then click on Create. Zoom in here, just Command Plus, and then I'm going to use uh, some grid lines. So first off, I'm going to go to View, New Guide Layout, and then I'm gonna do uh, four columns and four rows and then just click on OK. And then it will just give a basic um, kind of grid line skeleton here for us. And then uh, the next step is we are going to um, create, uh, using the marquee tool here, um, we're just gonna create uh, some lines. So just draw out a rectangle here. And then uh, to fill that, uh, we have our layer selected. Um, our foreground here is black. I'm going to hit Option Delete. That would be um, Alt Backspace for PC users. And then uh, just Command uh, Deselect. Uh, with the line selected there, I'm just going to hit um, Option and drag it over to create a, another one here. Selecting these two layers, um, just aligning their centers to make sure uh, they are aligned together. And then I'm going to click on both layers here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, duplicate these layers with the right click, duplicate layer. And then I'm going to uh, rotate it. So we're going to go to edit, transform, rotate 90 degrees. And now we have our two. Um, our kind of grid setup here. So in this case, we are going to uh, clear our guides, I'm going to view clear canvas guides here. Clicking on this first one here, we are going to uh, click on the icon here, command click, and that will um, highlight around that rectangle. And then we're going to go to select modify and then expand. And then we're going to expand by 10 pixels and then click on OK there. And then taking this top row, we'll select that layer. You want to um, make sure you have the marquee tool selected here. And then you're going to right click and then you're going to do layer by a cut. And then with that new layer, you can go ahead and um, delete that little part there. And then you now have the, um, the cutout of that, um, that particular line there. So I will do the next. So with this layer selected, we'll go ahead and command click on the icon. I will do the same thing. So we'll go select, modify, expand at 10 pixels. And then taking this line here, we'll go ahead and select that layer, right click, new a layer by a cut and then we'll delete that extra part there as well and then we'll do uh, continue to do uh, the same thing so we'll select our new layer here we'll go to select modify expand 10 pixels again here and then we'll cut out from this bottom layer with the marquee selected we'll right click new layer via cut and then delete that extra there and then we'll do it one more time selecting on this um, this bottom row here command click it will select it we'll go select modify expand we'll do our 10 pixels and then on this row here we'll make sure we're selecting this layer now we're going to go right click layer by a cut and then we can delete that extra piece there. So now we have um, where you kind of have that chain looking effect here. The next step is I'm going to um, we'll zoom out and then let's do view uh, pattern preview and then you can kind of just see a bigger scale of what that looks like. So uh, with pattern preview open, we'll go ahead and click on edit, define pattern. You can go ahead and give it a name and then click on OK. And then uh, we will create a new document. So let's go to file new. 
Uh, this time I'm going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, a resolution of 300 pixels per inch, color mode RGB color, background content set to white, and then we'll go ahead and click on create. And then I'm going to use a action that I have created. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that button here. And basically it just pre-populates it with a color fill layer, a pattern layer, and then another color fill layer that has a clipping mask so you can change out the color of your pattern. So going back to our, my patterns panel, I'm going to select my new uh, pattern here. And then um, you can click on the icon here and then with the patterns here, you always have the option to um, change the angle. You can scale it down, scale it up. Um, so let's try another, maybe a little bit smaller look. Um, there you can scale it and then you can even uh, move it around if you want to change kind of the orientation. If you want to get it back to the original, click on snap to origin and then you can select OK there. Uh, to change, um, if you want to change the color of your pattern, you can always click on the uh, color fill layer and then uh, select a new color. If you want to change the color of your background, you can do the same thing. Try another blue here, kind of a two-tone uh, blue color there. And then, um, so we have the, the pattern um, uh, vertical, horizontal, uh, but let's jump back into here. Let's turn off our pattern preview mode here. And then I'm going to um, group those together. So we're gonna go Command G to make a group. Go ahead and duplicate that group here. And then we'll just turn off one of these here. And then uh, with selecting these four layers here, I'm going to go ahead and rotate it. So we'll go um, back to the move tool here, uh, bringing up the rotation icon. I'm going to click on shift click, and then we're just going to move it um, there to where it's more at the, um, looks more like the diamond uh, orientation here. So we'll go ahead and click on OK. And then um, you can always do view pattern preview to get a um, the view of what it looks like more larger scale. You can zoom out if you want to see it there. And then uh, with it, the pattern preview dialog box open here. Let's go to edit define pattern. You can give it a new name and then I uh, will jump back over here. Uh, we'll make a group out of this one and then we'll go ahead and duplicate this group and then we will select our new pattern here and then you have your chain link looking pattern here so um, you could always choose um, if you want a little bit more space you can uh, create more of that um, expansion um, when you're expanding the lines there if you want it to have a little bit more um, just a little bit more space um, between the uh, lines there as well so zooming back out and then um, once you have your um, color selected and you want to save this as digital scrapbook paper you're going to go to um, file export um, you can do export as if you want to change um, any settings here um, you select the format as jpeg uh, bring up the uh, quality to uh, the highest possible and then um, scrolling down, embed color profile selected, and then you can export it there. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a chain link effect in Adobe Photoshop. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials where I walk you through how to create patterns in Photoshop. In the description below, I will leave a link to my Etsy shop where you can purchase digital paper packs. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.